Hey guys, it's Bailey and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm using some fun, bright pastels to take a makeup look that's perfect for summer from day to play. To see how I get the look, keep on watching. The first step to this look is an eye primer because you not only want your colors to pop, but stay all day. So I'm applying that to my lid and then blending it using my finger up to beneath my eyebrow. Moving on to the shadows, I'm taking a warm matte medium brown and running that through my crease using a fluffy blending brush to add definition and act as a blending medium for the shimmery shadows coming up next. For extra definition, I use the same shadow along my lower lash line. Up next, I'm using a flat brush to apply and really pack on a frosty white shadow with a blue purple shift all over my eyelid, right up to where it meets the matte shadow I put in my crease. Then taking a metallic gold shadow and a small detailer brush, I'm applying that to both the inner and outer third part of my eyelid, making sure to leave the center blank. Then kind of like I did with the matte shade in my crease, I'm taking that metallic gold and placing that along my lower lash line, sticking pretty closely to the outer corner. The last shadow I'm gonna use in this look is an iridescent mint that I'm applying to the center of my eyelids using my finger to really maximize color payoff. Then I'll go in with a brush I used previously to help blend that in with the other colors I've applied on my lid. Next, I'm applying a brown liner to my waterline and moving on to my favorite step of this tutorial, teal liquid liner. Here's a tip, mascaras are multitaskers and I'm gonna be using this one to create a somewhat dramatic cat eye. I'm using an ultra thin liner brush to make sure the borders stay clean and precise. I'm layering this up a little to reach maximum pigment saturation and I want to make sure to keep my line thick because the next step is to go in with a black liquid liner directly next to the lash line to help keep the eyes bright but defined. This line's a little bit easier to draw because you can use your teal liner as a guide. Just be sure you leave a little bit of that teal poking out above your jet black wing. Once the eyes are done, it's on to foundation, and I picked one that was pretty full coverage because the eyes are so bright and busy, I wanted to make sure that my face was a clean, flawless canvas. And because I don't want an under eye area that matches my liner, I'm using a few dabs of a full coverage concealer to eliminate any blue or purple tones under my eyes. Moving on to brows, you definitely need them for this look, but you don't wanna overdo them. So I am using a very thin brow pencil and using short, light strokes to fill them in and create the appearance of natural looking hairs. Before moving on to the face, I am finishing up my eyes with a few coats of mascara because I'm not using falsies. I really look for a mascara that would lengthen, curl, and volumize all in one. And I'm applying it to both my top and bottom lashes. On to the rest of the face. I didn't want to do a full contour and overwhelm the eyes with this look, so I'm kind of faking it and taking a cool mauve blush and applying it to the back of my cheeks, just beneath my cheekbones. I'm following that up with a light pink blush that I'm applying using the same brush to the tops of my cheekbones starting from the outer corner of my eye working my way back to my hairline. Next, to really make my cheekbones pop, I'm applying a highlighter, but to add a little bit of interest, I'm reaching for one that's frosty white with a light blue iridescence to complement the liner. I'm finishing this look off with a nude lip and I chose a lip liner that's a little warmer to play off the golden brown shadows on my lid. I'm just lining the upper and lower lips before going in with a lipstick that's slightly more peach toned and I'm applying it to the center once again at both my upper and lower lips to give them a slightly contoured appearance. and that's everything you need to get this colorful eye look. To take it up a notch, you can go back in with the same teal eyeliner you used before and add another wing to the inner corner of your lower lash line. 
I like to begin with an ultra thin line that starts slightly below my inner corner and comes up to meet my lower lash line, stopping about two thirds of the way in. But if you want to take it to the next level for a look you can wear to festivals, raves, parent teacher conferences, here's how to do it. I start by using the same mascara that I lined my eyes with, only this time I'm applying it to my brows, starting from the inner corner going all the way to the outside. Next, I'm taking the same light pink blush I used as before, and I'm really packing it on not only to the tops of my cheekbones, but also running it through the temples really close to my hairline. To complete the makeup portion of this amped up look, I am taking a light lavender lipstick and placing that directly in the center of my top and bottom lips, using my finger to blend it out. And last, grab your favorite mint wig to complete the transformation. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed seeing both a fun and funky tutorial, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!